Rental car A charges $20 to rent a car and $0.20 cents per mile, and rental car company B charges $35 to rent a car and $0.15 cents per mile. And how many miles will the cost to rent from either company be the same? So a lot of times students get a little bit intimidated by word problems or story problems, and what I recommend is just go ahead and write it as a word equation first. So we're trying to find out where renting from company A is going to equal renting from company B. So you're with me so far. I'm just kind of writing like a a word equation, I'm just diagramming it out. Company A, they charge $20, that's a flat rate, right? Plus 20 cents times M, the number of miles, or you could use the variable X, either way. Company B, they charge a flat fee of $35 plus 15 cents per mile. So are you with me so far? We wanna know when these costs are gonna be equal to one another. Now one thing I wanna point out real quick is that when you're working with linear equations or lines, you think about y equals mx plus b. The m is the slope and the b is the y-intercept. But in word problems or story problems, the m is really the rate. Okay, so in this case, how much per mile? That's the rate per mile. And the b, that's the initial condition. That's the starting amount. So instead of the y-intercept, like you normally uh, think of b when you're graphing lines, you think of b as the starting amount or the initial condition. Okay, in this case, you're starting off at $35 with company b, $20 with company a. This company's a little bit cheaper right if you're not driving that many miles this company's going to be cheaper if you're driving a lot of miles because the rate per mile is less but we're trying to figure out at what point is it going to be the same either way from either company so let's go ahead and solve this let's get the variables on one side so i'm going to subtract 0.15 m from the right to get rid of that and i'm going to subtract 0.15 m from the left to keep the equation balanced so so far we're down to 20 plus 0.05 m equals 35. Now if I subtract 20 from both sides because I want to get the variables by themselves here, the numbers on the other side, I want to get rid of this by doing the opposite. Subtract 20 on the other side, we get 15 equals 0.05m. Now we want to get m by itself. The opposite of multiplying by 0.05 is to divide both sides by 0.05 and m equals, hmm, let's see, let's go to our calculators. It's 15 divided by 0.05, 300. So 300 miles is how long it's going to take until the two costs renting from either company A or company B are going to be the same. So again, this is a typical linear equation word problem or story problem that you'll see in your algebra class or pre-algebra class. I hope this helps you understand it a little bit better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of the other videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.